So this talk is, is, is actually a very short talk, but two talks, they're kind of linked. Um, and this is looking at, uh, at some of the results, or just a couple of results um, that we get when we do these uh, culture um, surveys or health checks as we call them. So we do these uh, things and we use the tools that you've seen us use already, the, um, the RF buttons and SurveyMonkey and, and these kind of things. And we try and get anonymous um, data, anonymous feedback. And if you can imagine um, kind of what it looks like when we go into an organization. So we don't know what this organization is, looks like. Um, we know it's going to involve people, obviously, so therefore uh, behavior. They don't know us um, either, usually. Um, and we speak to everybody um, from the kind of uh, guys at the top, if you like, directors and everything, right the way down to um, the, the, the people that actually do the important stuff, yeah, the work. And we, we get everybody in the room, if you like, if I paint the picture of what this survey looks like, and this is only part of the health check, but this is the part I want to talk about just now because we get some really interesting results. We get everybody in the room, um, all the workers um, together, then all their supervisors together, then all their managers together, and all the directors together. So they're all together, but in separate, if you like, doses, separate sessions, okay? And we ask them um, certain questions, okay? So I've got three, three of those questions that I'm gonna share with you. So we put them on the screen like this. This is one that we use. This is an actual result that we get. I genuinely do not want to get hurt on our sites, okay? So that's the question that we ask the worker, okay? And that's the answer that we get. Okay, and why wouldn't we get that answer? These people don't want to get hurt okay, when working on our sites. Now we ask a slightly different question to the managers when they come in and to the supervisors when they come in. We say, I generally do not want anyone to get hurt on our sites. Okay? So same sort of question. And they answer in exactly the same way. Okay? Strongly agree, agree, strongly agree. We put this together, all, all the workers' data um, data on opinion, um, all the uh, manager's data, all the supervisor's data. And we get uh, something like this, okay? So I generally do not want to get in a hurt on our sites. Very, very strong agreement. We then ask this question, okay? So we ask this to all the groups again. Workers, supervisors, managers, directors. Do you think it's the same answer? It is? Yep. More or less the same answer. I take safety seriously, really seriously. So now we have a consensus from all the groups. I genuinely do not want to get hurt on our sites or anyone to get hurt on our sites. And I take safety seriously, really seriously. So that's a pretty good place to start, isn't it? Yep. Gone to this organization, total agreement. And this is a pattern that we see all the time. We then ask each group this question. My supervisor, manager, takes safety seriously, really seriously. So when we have the people in the room, we say to them, okay, think about your manager, the person you report to, the person that gives you your um, direction every day. Answer this question in the way that you perceive their seriousness for safety, okay? Now, how do you think they respond? Yep. So this is actual data from, the, from um, a survey that we did. My manager takes safety seriously. That's what they voted on. So as you can see, it's more shifting towards the disagree. Definitely not the strong agreement that there was before. So if you think about what I've just said, though, we've asked, already asked the same person, if you like, that's answered this question about their boss, or have asked their boss, rather, how seriously they take safety, and they answered that way. So, and just look at that gap that's there with the, um, the two responses. From this, about, this is about the same person. So the boss said that he takes safety seriously, really seriously. The person that works for him or her said, mm, I don't think they take safety as seriously as I take safety. Yep. So just have a think about that at the minute. Just have a think about what's going on there. So the conundrum is that no one wants to get hurt or see others hurt at work. 
And everyone is saying that they take safety seriously, really seriously. But other people don't think you take safety as seriously as you say you do. Okay? Again, this is a pattern that we see in every organization that we go into. Different extents, but this is a pattern that we see when we go into organizations. So again, what is happening here? Is it that my definition of how serious I take safety is different from someone else's? Mm, it kind of could be. I mean, taking safety seriously is, is a label. Yeah, as we've discussed in behavioral science, labels aren't very good at pinpointing behaviors. So that's maybe got something to do about it. But if we think about this from a behavioral point of view, and think about what people judge us upon, okay? People judge us upon what we do rather than what we say. Or rather, the person that works for us is judging us upon how we follow through, how we support them. Yeah? And if their belief, what they see, doesn't match what we believe our actions are, then you get this gap this big gap in the difference between how seriously I believe I take safety compared to that person that works for me. Yep. This say-do gap doesn't match. So if we have this gap between worker and manager, and we've asked this question to every group about the manager, so that manager's manager has answered in exactly the same way about that manager's manager. So it's going all the way up the chain Join all those gaps together and think, think about how big the gap is between the guy that does the work and corporate. Yeah. Corporate says they take safety seriously, really seriously. And yet the guy at the bottom says, mm, well, my manager doesn't. His manager thinks his manager doesn't. The gap is massive. So how big are we making this gap? Yeah. What are the kind of things that we are saying and doing that makes and sustains and keeps this gap the size that it is. You hear a lot of companies state this blanket rule. Okay? I'm sure some of the companies in here do this as well. They introduce this into the offices. They introduce it maybe because somebody fell down the stairs once upon a time. But I have seen it where people have never fallen down the stairs. So they're introducing it because they're saying they take safety seriously, really seriously. Yep. That's why they're introducing this blanket policy like holding the handrail. They say you must follow these golden rules. You must follow them or you'll be disciplined. Yeah, because that's how seriously I take safety as a corporation. And you must have a permit before you start work. You must lock out and tag out before you start work because as a corporation, that's how seriously I take safety. Okay, nice words of commitment. But where's the follow through? So when we do these surveys, they tell us that, well, they don't give us the right information to do the job. There's not enough time to do the job or perceived time to do the job. And I don't have the right tools to do the job. And if you look at the differences between what these are and who says them, then you can start to see the gap between this commitment, these words, and the actual things, that, the ingredients that matter to the person that's most at risk of injury. So the message in this, this short talk is how do you think others see you from your day-to-day -day behaviors, from these words of commitment that you say, yep, I take safety seriously, really seriously, but you don't give me the right tools to do the job. Do you think it's possible that that could be the result, perhaps, in your organization as well? Is there a gap in your organization, and how big is that gap? between the words of commitment and the actual follow through. What does virtual, the virtual kind of um, organization, the one you think you're gonna get look like and the actual reality of what's happening out in the work face look like? You're judged upon what you do. We've already heard that today. You're judged upon what you do rather than what you say. That's where people are taking your seriousness for safety from. Step one is to ask the question. Step one to creating the conditions for success is to ask this question and work out how big the gap is. But are you brave enough? Well, you need to be brave enough to ask that question. Thank you.